Hello guys, welcome back to yet another video. Have you guys ever wondered how to mirror your iPhone to PC without any hassle? Whether it's watching your favorite show on bigger screen, streaming gameplay, or presenting an app demo to your team. I've got the perfect solution for you guys. Today I'll show you how to use any mirror to break those iPhone to PC barriers easily. It's smooth and packed with features like screen recording and 4K visuals. So stick around and I'll walk you through the setup. By the way guys, it's a sponsored video, but I actually found this tool very useful. Now without wasting any more time, Let's dive into the video. So here I'll be using my iPhone 15 plus to mirror on PC. First you need to download the AnyMiro 2.0 from the links given below. Along with the download link, I'll also provide a coupon code which will give you a big discount. So to download, you need to head to the official website, tap on free download and the download should automatically start. Once it's downloaded, it's a very small file of 3.9 MB. Just tap on install and the installation process will hardly take few minutes. We have already installed on a device. So once it is installed, the layout is very simple. Towards the left hand side, you have option to to connect the iOS devices and towards the right hand side your Android phones. So as we are connecting iPhone 15 plus so let's select this first option. And it's not like you can only connect using USB, you also have an option to connect via Wi-Fi. And I'll always recommend connecting using the USB cable because here you'll see zero delays while mirroring your device. It can be very useful if you're doing live streams. So to connect your device using USB, connect the cable to your PC and later on connect the cable to your iPhone. On the iPhone, you need to allow all the necessary permissions. It generally asks you only one thing, which is trust this computer. I'll tap on trust and the drivers will automatically be installed soon you connect your device to PC. Now just tap on OK and later on once disconnect your device and again reconnect. And there we go, our device has been successfully connected via USB cable and you can see the mirroring have already been started. And also if you see there is zero delay, I would say the latency is completely zero. That's the reason I recommend you guys to use the USB cable instead of wireless connection. But if you guys have a good Wi-Fi connection, there also you won't see much of latency issues. Under preferences, you get two options. One is general settings. Second one is screenshot and recording. And you can see on both iOS and Android, we do have resolution support up to 4K and the frame rate support up to 120 FPS. But if you guys are doing the live stream, I would recommend you guys to use 1080p and keep the frame rate at 30 FPS. Using these settings, your PC won't have much of burden while live streaming. So it's very simple to connect your device using the USB cable. Now let me show you how to connect your device using Wi-Fi. So here if you tap on the Wi-Fi, you can see the steps are very simple, which says open control center, tap on screen mirroring and select any mirror. So here we have the control center. You can see the quick setting tile of screen mirroring. If I tap on it, you'll also see any mirror along with my PC name. Tapping on it, it will hardly take few seconds and your device screen will be mirrored using Wi-Fi. Here also if you see, there are not much of latency issues. As said, I always recommend to use USB method instead of Wi-Fi. Using Wi-Fi also you get all the options. And here you can also add the device frame. Currently you can see I'm using iPhone. And if I tap on this frame icon towards the right side, it adds the frame of iPhone. This way you can enjoy content on the bigger screen. And if you guys wish to do live streaming, you just need a separate tool called Steam Lab or you can use the OBS one. So let me show you how you can stream your gaming sessions. Once you open the Steam Lab, tap on this plus icon for the source, select screen capture and tap add source. You can use any name, just tap on add source and from here, select the application which is any Miro. And later on, just tap on done. Now if I open BGMI here, you can see now BGMI have been successfully mirrored on Streamlab desktop and the audio output is also from the PC. Later on, if you want to stream it on YouTube, you just have to enter the stream key and select the services. This way you can use this tool for live streaming too. And here also if you see, there is not even a single second delay. Similar way, you can also use your Android device to mirror the screen. For Android devices, you just need an additional step. You need to enable developer option. That can be done depending on the models. If you have OnePlus, you just go to the software update section, tap on version seven times until you see you are a developer now. Once you have enabled that, just go back, go to system and update, tap on developer options, and from here, just enable USB debugging. And later on, connect your device to PC. You'll see a pop-up, just allow the necessary permissions. And that's how it is easy to mirror using any Miro. Whether you're looking for a stable USB performance or the convenience of wireless mirroring. Any mirror has you covered with its seamless connection, 4K visuals, perfect for everything from gaming and streaming to presentations and creative work. So why to wait? Download any mirror today using the link given in the description below. Don't forget to use the coupon code for special savings. And let me know in the comment section below how you're planning to use the any mirror. As of now, only this much in this video. This is your friend Ashok signing out. See you guys in the next video.